Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. I have a flip through of my latest journal for you. And it is a big one. The spine is three inches. And it's a gator mouth. And there's one more thing I want to put into it. And that's this. Hopefully I don't forget. So I've closed it with a piece of lace. Take that aside. All right, so the cover is an Amazon package. The, the um, craft colored paper and I made a nameplate from directions from Natasha at Treasure Books. I added some feathers which can be pulled out if the person doesn't like it. Then I covered it with fabric and it has, um, what do you call, it has cooking words, restaurant words like French cooking cafe, cafe au lait, even rotisserie, patisserie, dessert, bistro, menu, gourmet, cafe, chef, words like that on it. And I wasn't sure why I picked the cover for the cover. But it turns out that what was on my heart to do was a taste and see that the Lord is good journal. So I have that on a pocket right on the inside. For the inside cover, I took a piece of my faux rice paper and sewed it. I sewed it to a plastic piece of something and then I glued it into the cover. Then we have some stenciling. I took different greens and different leaves stenciled in there. Then we have this paper for which I got the recipe from Dragona can't really pronounce her name very well, at uh, Sasebo. And I've put her link in, I think, one of the videos I did previously. If I remember, I'll do another one. Um, she made paper with a cornstarch mixture. So she took layers of napkins, put the cornstarch mixture in between, and then took an iron and flattened it and dried it. Now that takes a long time and it's quite messy so just a warning um, so that's that so that starts with a tuck there's a cluster I made and some labels throughout music paper this is a drawing that I did and then I I took a picture of it and then I made it a digital. Um, this, I think this might be the, no, I think it's a copy already. So I put some doilies. I did I put some extra doilies in case the person wants to use it. I sewed some paper with lace on the edge. I did use different colors of thread, which I thought made it a little more interesting. Here's another of that rice paper. This one just had some coffee granules dispersed on it. Then I put some cardstock. That one's brown. I used some texture paste and a stencil for that. This is napkin on freezer paper. I just used that as a divider. If the person would like to, they could put that down for a pocket. 
the Lord shall descend, speaks of things to come. And that is a label on faux rice paper. There is a belly band. It has um, little embellishments sewed around the edges and then I glued that to the belly band. And then a journal card that comes out. I left some blank pages because why not? And here is the center of the first signature. It has three signatures all together. There's a letter to the person who's receiving it. There is the number nine dispersed throughout this journal. And that is significant to me. Um, I took some dried flowers, laminated them, sewed around them, and also sewed them on top, or sewed them to paper. So that made a chunky little embellishment for there. I also took a whole bunch of these domino tiles and sewed them onto one piece of paper and then when I was ready to use it I just cut them apart and then I have a backing for my label and I get the sewing and it's, it keeps them together very nicely so I was happy to find that. Pockets made from magazine paper, stenciling, stamping, and I included some tea and there's the number nine. A pocket that I made with you guys with doilies and a tag. I think we also made some of these um, together. These, this has a, an opening and then it has um, some goodies inside. This one has one of the tags that I made, not tags, labels. So there's a label inside that can be used. It can also be switched out for something else, like writing paper, secret notes, things like that. Again, some blank pages, some pretty pages. Here's where I painted with uh, watercolor, metallic gold, and a stencil. Here's some um, hidden paper clips. Here's a pocket that I made with, um, that's wax paper. And then it was like a larger journal cart. So I sewed that around the edges to make the pocket. And there's one of the little tags I made with, you have to open the ribbon and then you, you find the notes, the note pages inside. And that's a sticker on there. So here's the other half of that napkin and that cardstock. I've included some coasters because you never know when the person might get thirsty. I need a coaster. Um, I included the initials for the person in case they would like to put their initials on the front cover. I don't want to disclose the initials right now. Then I've included these journal cards that I now have on my copy page. And if you're interested in that, you can go have a look. Then, more pockets sewn around. And I did find some matte laminating sheets, and I really like those. Here's another page sewn. Doilies again. Music paper. Again, I left a lot of... Um, I left a lot of blank pages because I want the person receiving this to make it their own and change things around, move things around. So this here is from a snippet roll that I made and I made I think two belly bands. This is the first one and then inside I put a tag that has 
pressed flowers and I laminated those and then I inserted the laminated sheet into the tag. That was actually quite fun. I'm thinking of doing more of those. And here I took a piece out of a an illustration book and I sewed it to some coffee dyed paper. I think there's like three layers there. And it feels quite bulky, so there's that. Can be used as a journal card. So I put the tag in there because I wanted that to stick out some. And here's a pocket that we made together with the strips of paper and book page. And inside I have a couple of embellishments and a tag. This is a cluster we made together. Those were a lot of fun too and I still enjoy using them. Here is a page trim watercolored leaves. I did end up putting some personal art in here. I had this on my wall and I felt like I wanted it in the journal. It is basically a large piece of watercolor paper and I um, painted some rocks and I used the, um, what's that called? Resist. I used the resist technique with wax crayon and white to get the lines. So person getting this journal is very special and I did make it for her in mind so again magazine paper on sewn onto a piece of paper to make a pocket here's one of those um, color samples that we made together this is that satiny paper with stamps on it I just thought it was a fun page some more music paper. There's a pocket and it's extended all the way right now but it does close. It's got a clock on it and then that acts as a closure. It's got a um, journal card back there with some sewing on it and I could have Well, this way it's a surprise, right? If they take this out. Oh, what this is, it's not empty. I put some verses and some doodles in here. So, put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and so be saved. And some more verses inside there. And I just did a little doodling. Again, a little piece of personal art. And... It doesn't have to stay in the journal. It can be passed on. It can be, you know, repurposed. That's not a big deal. I just... Trying to make this journal personal. I find I enjoy it more when I put more of myself in there. So I added some washi tape, which I thought was fun. It's just pretty. And then this is a tuck with a journal card and some and the verse. Psalm 23 is on that one. This is faux leather paper. And the way I did that, and I don't remember whose tutorial it was, it might have been dragging it um Sasebo again. I know. Um Natasha at Treasure Books had a tutorial also. Basically, you crumple up the paper, you ink it on the rough edges or rough spots, and then um, you layer it with a layer of glue, which makes it a little more um, sturdy. So that was that one. Um, 
a tuck out of a journal. I put some journaling paper in here. This is another thing that I made. It turned out just to be a little reminder. He restores my soul. And the soul, of course, is mind, will, and emotions. And then there's little envelopes in here. Um, this one is book page and I stenciled some dragonflies on it. And what I did with that was I mixed up the inks on purpose and it gave me this really cool blended look between pink and purple. So that was a lot of fun. I found a page out of a cross stitch book that was um, tea for two or more. And it has the word tea and it has cups and it has the um, teapot. And so it even has a kind of tea. And again, that goes with the theme, taste and see that the Lord is good. Here's a pocket that I sewed around and a sticker of an owl. And there's a tag inside here. It's a double tag. I got this tag from a sheet of printables at Graphics Ferry. These pockets are a little bit tricky because they have a bunch of paper folded on the inside to make the actual pocket. And here's another verse. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13 And there is a tassel. A map. A black page. I started this person on the journey to use either acrylic paint or a white marker, maybe a jelly roll, maybe an acrylic marker, and do some stencil work inside if they choose to do so. They can also do whatever else. This is a page of a German Bible that I came across somewhere. I don't recall where. Here I stenciled some flowers and again I did different colors and I wasn't too careful about keeping the color separate and it was coffee dyed already so it just looks really pretty. Here's some more tea and another pocket made out of magazine page paper with lines on it. Another pocket I used, this is that packaging material, craft paper colored, and then I put a doily on there and a piece of magazine and a piece of lace, and that made the pocket. And then um, I put this other page that I got out of a magazine and I folded it so that it would add some thickness. And yeah, I sewed around that too, so. I've come to the conclusion that we don't finish journals, we just stop working on them. That's a personal revelation for myself, I guess. This is a pocket with a little bow. It looks like a shirt, I like that. This is actually from a book page and it has a verse on it. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. So I thought that was very appropriate to put in there. And then there is a tiny little envelope, and it has some, some of those labels that I made with watercolor and stamps. So trying to put little goodnesses in all the places. 
Here is a, a printable um, that I printed smaller than it came in. It was from artcd.com. She has a lot of really cool things that she shares. This center page is from Digital Collage Club. Here's another journal card that is on my coffee page that I'm making available. This is a belly band made out of book page. One of the book pages I stamp butterflies on. Here is a altered paper clip. There's a verse behind there and just some, some paper and some fabric, some raffia. Some of these things are so fun and yet so easy. Here's one of my half pockets, have a heart pocket and some more coasters just because it goes with the taste and see. This is tea coasters and a little butterfly cluster. And I added a key charm because there's the heart. And so I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, some more black paper. And again, like I said, I started this person. Hopefully they'll like that. And then here's the other half of that tea page, another teapot cup, another teapot of Mr. Tea. I decided not to cover those up because I thought that was just kind of fun. Here's a cluster we made together and I'm using that as a tuck for a uh, journal card. I did end up doing quite a bit of sewing for this one and I really liked it so I'll do I'm pretty sure I'll do a lot more of that. The number nine again and it's a flip out and it's got a little stamp on it. Um, another one of those magazines and I chose this one because of the cup and saucer. All right, so here, some music paper and these um, belly bands that we made together a while back. And I put a verse on there, ask and it shall be given to you. These um, journal cards are on my coffee page as well. They're blank on the coffee page. All right, so keep going. Here's some scripture. And I made a pocket out of this. I did the fancy edge punch and inside I put a page that I had coffee dyed and sewed the edge of and I decided to insert that as a writing spot. So there's a butterfly that I made on watercolor paper and then I um, tried embossing it. All right, so here's the other half of that art page. I initialed it and dated it, so it's almost two years ago that I did that. All right, so here is some paper that is bent already. What I did was I made a writing board I took a, what was this out of? I think it was from a, was it a calendar? And then I put that on some chipboard and then I laminated that. And I'm not sure why it has lines on it. Did it get stuck to something? But anyways, that is the surface for the writing board. I put it on that piece of paper because it's the sturdiest one in the book. So 
go then. This has to go maybe a little further out. I think I'm just going to fold that. So it doesn't get so scrunched up. And got this little paper clip. Not paper clip, little binder. All right, so there's that. Here's some more rice, full rice paper. All things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. I take a lot of pleasure in taking and putting the word in. I had this old label from a, a thread spool, so I decided to use that. Here's some more. Um, journaling card. This corner pocket here, the corner tuck, is, has a tiny little pocket in there, so I put that in there. Another hidden paper clip. So what this is, and I got this idea from Kathy at Kathy's Garden. It's an envelope that I decorated the back and the front well, the back, the number nine, and there's a tag inside that is decorated. There's a couple of little hearts on there, and it's just made out of pretty paper. I didn't want to put too much decoration on there in case it got stuck. So there's that. And then I picked sunflowers because this person happens to like sunflowers and daisies. So there's that. I think I had this one on the side. I'm not even sure. Um... Another thing I did was I put this yellow flower on here on a bulb pin and the flower was pressed into some hot glue so it looks like a wax seal. And here's a verse. My voice is kind of going so I won't read them all. Here's some more texture paste. I foiled one of my sheets and uh, put that in there. This is a collaged piece with birds and book page. Another pocket, journaling card, another tag or label rather. Another all um, hidden. No, oh, that's just an altered paper clip. Some write some journal card. An envelope with something in it. I don't know what. It has journal cards and some tags or labels. Labels. I don't know why I keep saying tags. Labels. Here's some tracing paper on the middle of this insert or signature. And that was a fun pocket to make. And some, here's one of those tags that I crocheted. Put that in the pocket here. And some, this was tissue paper with the gold butterflies on it. And I attached that to some coffee dyed paper and then gave it a mat of gold. And some more texture. These are cards. The person can use them if they want. Do something with them. Here's some more stuff that I foiled. Put on there. Here's another cluster with fabric, same as the cover. 
some paper, burlap, lace, and a wooden tinted butterfly. Here's another corner tuck with texture paste again. And this has an actual Psalm 46 on it. So there's that. Another tag, another nine. These we made together with the uh, birds and the bright colors. This is an envelope that had a tiny little window in it. So I put some Jesus is my ticket to heaven stubs in there. That's also available on my copy page. Um, here is one of those envelopes decorated on the outside. It says love came down, John 316. I've included some more of those envelopes in here so the person can write her own message and pass those along should she wish to do so. And there's some stickers on there. I made a tag and or a tab and put it on, didn't decorate it because you know you can't decorate everything because then the person getting the journal won't have anything to do. I got these cute little paper clips with hearts on them and I just really like using them. So what I did here was, again, this envelope is from the Graphics Fairy. And so I just took some little stickers. These are actually all um, with Bible verses on them. And so, those stickers will go in there. Cute little tucked spot. And back on the page it goes. And here is one of these little things that I showed you the other day. A uh, jewelry faux jewelry holder. Oh, it had a word too. I remember when I was, they still have them I think, I just don't go looking at jewelry very often, but if you go to like London Drugs or Walmart and where they have their jewelry and they, you know, they sell earrings, one of my favorite things to do was um, just tap it and listen to that sound. So. I think I put that over here. Or I can put it in here. That's the tab. Or the tuck. There we go. Alright, so then here is that other belly band that I made from that other signature. Um, aside from belly bands, I wasn't really sure what to do with it because yeah, I could have cut it down more, but um, again, clusters, if I really wanted to. Um, I just thought they looked nice as a belly band. So there's that. Over here, I made a page trim out of some of those envelopes, and then they ended up being a tuck spot. And what I did was I had some little envelopes left and so I just decided to tuck them in there along with a clock and a drawing. So This was fun too. This was another one of those um, blending the inks together to get different effects. So I used navy blue, the speckled egg blue, and the milled lavender that was a lot of fun. And a reminder to carry everything to God in prayer. And another pocket with some more journal cards, of course. And a butterfly. This butterfly was made with the instructions from the Graphics Fairy as well.
and there's a pocket on the very back and it's actually right on the crease did not mean to do that but it should be okay and then there's a journal card inside there with some verses on it then in the center i have a dangle on a bulb pin and it's of a heart and so that leaves me with one piece to add this is a fabric sample i took this card that i had i think it's from digital collage club and i just attached some lace and these fabric samples that i had and so i just need to figure out where i'm going to put it and it already has some edging on it so i don't think i need to ink it i was kind of thinking there i might come across an empty pocket or something but so far i don't recall seeing one so i think i'm just going to stick it right here because there's already some jean the material I do it this way better. Something like that. All right, so that is my taste and see that the Lord is good journal. And that is probably with the owner by now because I had to film this before I mailed it. So. And then for the spine, I hid it with, um, I, I hid the signature sewing with this burlap and lace. And um, yeah, so I was gonna make a closure for it. What I ended up doing was switching it out for this lace. And so all I did was make sure it was long enough and um, at least this will be good for the presentation it doesn't have to stay on there but we don't want I mean to, to mail it I think it would be good if it was um, you know, kind of compressed so it doesn't slosh around and bend more than it needs to. So I think I did the loop bow. Something like that. I'll probably play with that some more, make it a little nicer. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Bye for now.